Good morning, Alex. Hello, Charles. How are you this fine morning? Good. I'm, I say, I'm, I'm quite famished. What do you say we get some Wingstop for lunch today? Wingstop? I haven't had Wingstop in ages. Yes, that sounds delightful. Oh, uh, Alex, I think we're mistaken. Today's Friday. Oh, that's right. It is, isn't it? Oh, shucks. <sighs> shucks indeed. You're looking at the Holy Mackerel, an employee of St. Michael's Media, a humble Catholic apostolate located smack dab in the middle of the most fabulous city in the United States. This Holy Mackerel is a fish person. He vigorously enforces Canon 1251 during the Lenten season, wherein he replaces his co-workers' meat with an assortment of fish and other seafood. This sort of cannibalistic behavior might be witnessed on a silver screen in a horror motion picture, or perhaps by a strung-out Floridian who lost his meds. This tale of a never-ending scrupulous barrage of admonition reaches a fever pitch for the employees of St. Mike's. Nonetheless, Holy Mackerel's dedication to enforcing Canon 1251 is as deep as the greatest depths of the ocean. Prepare to dine in, deep beyond the sunlight zone, and even beyond the twilight zone. You have a table reserved for one in the midnight zone. Uh, hey, Holy, uh... Relax. It's uh, it's just salad. There's no meat in it. Don't worry about me, Holy. I got broccoli. See? Oh goodness, uh, Holy mackerel! This isn't what you think it is. This is this is something totally different. It's it's beyond anything you've ever seen. It's just an impossible creation. It's it's not meat. It's trans meat. Hey, come on, come on, man! Come on, man. Come on, man. Man. I told you, that's my lunch. Come on, that's what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, what are you doing, bro? Hey. What's up? You know, if it looks like a duck, tastes like a duck, smells like a duck, it's probably a duck. Are we truly bound by the parameters of our temporal experiences? Sight, smell, taste. Is there sin attached to the consumption of that which merely mimics the forbidden fruit? Transmeat, something we would have thought impossible just decades ago. It's a sort of invention typically confined to television shows of the psychological thriller variety. The debate of this scale is a recipe for schism the likes of which no one has ever seen. Holy Mackerel now swims about aimlessly, floundering around in canon law, attempting to decipher this quandary in the midnight zone.
Just kidding. Holy Mackerel knows that only soy boys eat fake meat. I hope you'll be able to join us next week, where a familiar face stops by St. Mike's after a long, arduous journey from outer space. <laughs>